This video is to demonstrate a game that I wrote in Python, which mimics the childhood game we've all played called Battleship. It consists of three files, Fleet, Grid, and Battleship. The PYCs are basically the compiled files. Uh, they consist about roughly, mm, I would say about a thousand lines code. Uh, if you give me a second here, I'll give you an identical number. Uh, So about 1,472 lines of code. Uh, in a later video, I could exp uh, explain and we'll explore the code. But for now, let's just basically go into the game. So let's do a Python battleship, which is the driver. And basically, this GUI that I wrote is basically mimicking the movie Water Games, which starred Matthew Broderick. It's written, it was filmed in the 80s. It's a pretty good movie. Uh, so I'm going to select number of players equal to zero, which is going to be computer versus computer. If you'd like to play the computer, you can select one. So you can define the grid being uh, six uh, quadrant spaces or max 26. For this simulation and this video, we're just going to define it as the smallest six, so it will finish faster. Uh, the max possible uh, locations on this grid is going to be six times six, which is 26. Um, if you like it to be bigger, the possible max is 26, and reason being A through Z. I wrote my algorithm for search and destroy being following the Monte Carlo method, and basically, uh, it's basically following the same interaction that humans do. Once you get a hit, it's either you're going to go above, to the left, to the right, or below. And as you can see, the algorithm is following that logic. All right, so the game completed with uh, a possible 32 attacks out of a possible 36, which really isn't that sufficient, you know. However, we have to remember that there was only 
36 possible locations of the ship existing, and 20 of them actually hosted the, the location of the ships. Now, so I ran a simulation on a 26 by 26 grid, which is a total of 676 possible locations. And if you notice, here, the max possible hits was 135. So that is very efficient. So there is my game called Battleship. And if you have any suggestions or how, or any input on the algorithm or questions, please let me know.